Hey guys, we'll be going through the full grading process of this image. The first step is to target the image. We use three simple basic steps to grade this image. We target the image using the hue saturation adjustment layer. You can see why I use this hand picker to, to click on the subject clothes, which is blue in majority. You can see that this color changes from master to blues. You see where this adjustment is targeted, you can increase the saturation to 100 and you can see that this selection has targeted everywhere that there is basically majority of blue. Now you can return it to zero. Use the hue slider to adjust this selection. If you overdo it, it begins to break. So just adjust the selection a little bit. You can increase the saturation too. If you see fit. Now you can create another adjustment so that you have more control over opacity, which is another hue saturation adjustment. Select the skin of the model and either increase or reduce if it's under saturated or over saturated and move the hue slightly to the left or right if it's too green or too red. Just some fine tuning before and after. Hold Alt and click on the background layer to review the before and the current stage. Now we'll go on to bring more focus to the subject by creating this spotlight effect using the elliptical marking tool. You go to your adjustment layer and create a curves adjustment. Bring down the curve. Y on the layer max. Click on Ctrl I on your keyboard to invert the maxing and come to the property make sure you are on your layer marks and not the curves to bring up the layer marks property and increase the feathering to blend the transition out so as before this is the after can adjust opacity and go back to the curves and increase the darkest point up a little bit to create this feathering in the darkest point and bring all the focus directly to the subject. From this point, you create a, a stamp visible layer with Ctrl Shift Alternate E on your PC and Command Shift Option E on your Mac. Convert to Smart Object, rename accordingly. Now go to your filter, camera roll filter. Come down here to load settings. We've already purchased this. Just go and load any of them. You find suitable, you can try them out. I use my personal favorite for this particular image. You load it, click on OK. Adjust opacity. Around 60 50 for this image before after grading. This was the general before, and this is the after. Like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe to this channel for more amazing stuff. Link in the description to very useful resources. Happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing video.